Team, do you copy? What's the situation on the field? Over. <laughs> Don't jinx yourself now, buddy. Optimal weather conditions will make the mission easier for you and me both. Over. Keep your guard up! If my sources are accurate, I'm like 90% confident we'll find something in this place. What do you mean you're done funding the club? The OHSIC is an incredibly important resource for students to explore their spirituality, their heritage, their culture! Listen, Mr. Potts, I've pulled enough strings letting you have the club for so long in the first place, but I can't defend you when we're not seeing results. You still have a freaking anime club! All they do is watch movies and spend money on imported snacks! That's gotta be violating some kind of rule about appropriating funds or something! First of all, it's the Japanese Culture and Heritage Club. Secondly, they actually retain regular members, as do many other clubs. If you can't engage with the students of this university, you're not really providing anything of value. Space is a premium, too. You know that everyone on campus is going gaga for that newly proposed juggling club, and they'd appreciate a room that's barely being used as it is. The juggling club? The juggling club? You can't do that to us! Another way! Please! What do you need us to do to save the club? All you need is a few more members. Doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you can show us that the OSICO is still relevant to the student body. OHSIC! <sighs> mm hmm. Yes, that. Okay, okay, here's the plan. You know that old house way out there on the corner of town? That old Gallagher place where all those deaths and murders happened ages ago? We've never checked it out. We thought it was too boring, too vanilla. But no! Maybe we made a mistake trying to find new things when we've left the biggest stone in town unturned. Tomorrow, we're gonna investigate the old dump. I just know there's something we can find in there. It's our last hope. Vice Prez, tonight we're hitting the books. 
Research like your life depends on it. Uh, status? You've been a little quiet. Over. Don't get cold feet now, buddy. We need you now more than ever. You've dealt with the paranormal before, and you've rocked their world. Are you worried about your lines? Sorry, no can do. You've got to look the part for when you fall into the cold, dead arms of Elias Gallagher. Over. How's the rose? Then go for it, buddy. You're about to change our lives. Shoot. I don't really know if they did. Or why you're asking me that? G -g Ghost clown? No! Why would you even suggest such a thing? I don't want to think about it. Quit stalling and start the mission already! How's it looking in there, bud? Is your sixth sense tingling? That's reasonable. I think it's time to summon a ghost then.
uh, this is my cue to throw tomatoes at the stage, right? <laughs> all right, all right. Keep up the good work then, buddy old pal. Truly a riveting performance. 10 out of 10, Oscar worthy, or whatever. over there. so tragic as the one who stands before me. Pray tell. Who are you? And what is your purpose here? What? Hey, bud. What's going on over there? I are not at all dissimilar indeed. I am well acquainted with tragedy, and know that your wounds need tending to at once. Tell me, would you like to forget the cur who broke your heart? Nonsense, my dear. I can melt away your anxiety and regrets, for it is within my power as long as you remain inside these four walls. Now, will you accept this rose, darling? Here. 
I'm requesting a report! You, uh, do you need backup? Answer me! Wonderful, darling. Now even death won't do us part. Oh, God! I've tried to, like, 50 times already since the call dropped! What the hell happened?! Are you still in the mansion?! now describe your location Wait, a bedroom? Huh. 
Maybe the door was locked and nobody got in? This place is a known party hub, after all. Maybe the co-eds and whoever else wrecked everything they could reach, but they just couldn't get into here. Yeah, what's up? You're kidding, right? Ugh, yeah, all right, you're right. Let's play 20 questions to catch you up to speed here. You're really asking me... <sighs> Sorry. You're on a field mission to investigate Gallagher Mansion, so we can find evidence that ghosts exist, therefore proving that the OHSIC still has value to Zephyr University Student Union. Besides finding a ghost, we're also looking to see if we can figure out where that old Gallagher fortune might be. Treasure hunting isn't our primary goal, but it's worth keeping an eye out for. The newspaper clippings we found always said how huge the inheritance was, but some assets were never accounted for in the banks. Rumor has it that the Gallaghers kept part of the fortune somewhere in the estate. The Gallaghers were a well-off military family from Europe who came to America in the mid-1800s. Archibald Gallagher, the patriarch of the family, found success as a cornmeal baron. He married a woman named Mildred, and together they had a total of seven children. All of the Gallaghers were quite exceptional, except for... Elias was the black sheep of the family. All of his other siblings were born strong and healthy, but Elias's birth came with a lot of complications. Pretty much the epitome of the sickly Victorian child trope. A lot of rumors say it was some kind of curse, but no one can agree on why they were cursed to begin with. The eldest child died first in a horse accident or something. After that, it was a chain of freak accidents in short succession, completely unrelated to the previous deaths. But without fail, it would always kill the next eldest child like a line of dominoes, hitting the rest of them in some pretty gruesome ways. I think Archibald and Mildred Gallagher weren't too happy about having to write Elias down as their sole heir once the others were gone, but somehow he'd managed to dodge the curse. Then, not long after amending the will, the parents drowned in a bridge collapse on what was supposed to be a leisurely carriage ride. Same energy as scented candles setting fire to your apartment. There was, still is, plenty of speculation about Elias spinning elaborate murder schemes to take down his family. But the thing is, Elias had few people to write letters to, and even fewer people who'd write back. Elias became a permanent shut-in after becoming the head of the Gallagher estate. Eh, I'd probably do that too if it happened to me. That would be Violet and Gerard Dupont. Gerard was the Gallagher groundskeeper, and after the rest of the family died, he decided to get a little ambitious. Don't think that guy was gay, though. Otherwise, I imagine he would have gone after Elias himself. So he introduced his sister Violet to Elias as a fellow heiress without a partner. You can guess what happened next, right? Everything but the wedding, yes. 
According to the newspapers we dug up, Elias died the night before his wedding ceremony while the Duponts were caught red-handed tearing the place apart, looking for the Gallagher fortune. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, that's because the last mission I sent you on wasn't a real thing. That was a fake paranormal incident. Hey, after we posted your reactions on the internet, we did get some new members. Of course, bud. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold your horses! Aren't you feeling lightheaded or dizzy or anything? You know, I've been trying to reach you for two hours! Were you even aware you've been gone that long? Maybe you had, like, a concussion or something. I kept hearing that guy's voice, and a rush of air. So, was it really Elias? No, of course not! So you really did see THE Elias Gallagher? Okay, I'm coming in. We have to get you out of there. O-H-S-I-C. It's a tactical retreat! I was kinda prepared to find a ghost, but not for you to go MIA for two whole hours! I'm just really glad you're still here. I don't know what would happen to the OHSIC if I lost you. So, if that ghost had the power to put you to sleep, he must be a lot stronger than we anticipated. Who just met? Th that that's rushing into things. Right. Yeah. Okay. Look, I'm still coming in to give you a hand. I trust that guy about as far as I can throw him. Which isn't very far, well, considering, you know, he's a ghost. No, 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 you stay right there. We have no idea what that dude's up to.
Ugh. Okay, then. I'll stay put for now. But if we're gonna do this, then you need to give me a status report. really has returned to its full glory. Is it because of Elias? If it's not freezing in there anymore, that has to mean something. I think you've really awakened him. Your presence has given him something he hasn't had in forever. I think this house conforms to his spectral energy. You've made him happy. You've satisfied part of his wish for romance, but I... Mm. I, I want you to be very careful about how that wish gets entirely fulfilled, okay? My dearest, wait there. Please, my dear, you mustn't wander around. Things remain out of sorts. so as to not disturb your slumber. Sincerest apologies for rousing you from your rest. And yet, that changes little about the unreadiness of this manner. After all, I have to do all this cleaning myself. Simply look at the state of this study. So far gone from its glory days. Didn't you say it was pristine? Just wait. And be amazed. 
I will have to find new staff quite soon. Sadly, they did not stay with me as I left my body behind. Oh, if only they had. On the contrary, arrangements must be made with all haste. Our wedding, of course. I can hear its soft, gentle tears fall upon your soul. I promise you, my dearest, that a heart does not heal easily. No matter how many tales of tragedy and hardship one may read, reality is much more painful. Why, my own heart has been broken more than a dozen times over the course of my life. And alas, it has never once healed only turn to an aching scar. And I have tried my damnedest to ignore these wounds, to let them bleed out and coagulate into some semblance of strength, but it left me sickly instead. If a heart is to be mended, surgery must be immediate. And here before you is someone who can mend your broken heart, someone who can cherish you, Stay with you. Create happiness for him. I never had that chance in my own mortal life. And after so long, my dearest, I want you to choose happiness, not sorrow. And I want to be the one to give you that happiness. Whatever you do, do not trust him at all. But also, don't do anything to upset him. Play it as cool as possible. Elias gave you a very thin rope to walk. Don't fall down. Do you understand? Yes, we shall do that. But I cannot wait forever either. The taste of eternity I've already suffered upon is nigh unbearable. Join your groom in helping him plan our wedding. Now let me think. Ah! I'd love your assistance with the floral arrangements. I have all the flowers of New England in my hands. It shall be difficult to select only a few. After that, a cake. I know my grandmother's recipes are still in this house. 
and I should set off on finding them. I've tasted them all when I was still in the flesh, and they're delightful. As such, I leave the choice of cake to you. And finally, since you'll be marrying into my distinguished family, I'm eager to bestow upon you a gift suitable of that prestige. I shall lead you to my treasury and introduce you to the family jewels. Precisely. Then let us begin. Take my hand. And I'll lead you to the greenhouse. Hey, partner. How are we holding up? After you. You shuddered a little. Is there a chill, my dear? I did, but no longer. Behold! Voila! My dear, your flowers. And there's more, much more if these don't delight you. And which will that be, my dear? Hmm, yes, they are. 
Hey, are you actually any good at flower arrangement? I want to see this bouquet. Heck yeah! Orange is a great color and flavor. They're quite sentimental flowers. And I suppose that neither of us can simply drop sentimentality so easily. And you wouldn't be here either. I trust you understand the significance. Now, what accoutrements would you like to add to this? There are so many, and I want to see what you pick. Ooh, pick something he won't expect. Something really bold. Peruvian lilies are certainly eye-catching. You seem to be quite a maximalist. So much pink! But the pear blossoms and their white tips do add a particular gentleness. How's it looking? Is he impressed? If you get a chance, take a picture. Wait, uh, are they ghost flowers? Can you even take pictures of ghost flowers? As long as we both desire it and tend to it. It's easier than you may imagine, but you have to listen to them first. They say much more than you expect. Collectively, that your loneliness leads you to needing. A friend. Something a bit more dramatic. The Queen Anne's Lace. That is a very interesting choice. There is a desire for sanctuary hidden within you. That pain you feel. It runs deeper than one sad day, doesn't it? You doing okay over there? Doubt it was your fault. That it could be so simple. Ah, dearest, you've created a beautiful bouquet. One that comes from the deepest of hearts. I'll treasure the zinnias and their friends forever.
Do you need space to rest? Yes, of course. Come find me in the study when you're ready, my love. Did he buy it? But What he said about what? You trailed off. I mean, is it? I, I don't really... I don't know what to tell you. I guess they're not bad things to want, especially when you're not interested in marrying a ghost. They probably don't mean anything at all. Hey, never say never. If anyone could do it, I bet it would be us. Hey, are you doing all right now? Might be time to see what you can get up to before your rendezvous with Elias. On the second floor. Yep. What about it? It's probably a portrait of one of the Gallagher ladies. What better way to flaunt wealth and status than by paying someone to preserve your likeness with expensive materials? Probably the precious family jewels Elias was telling you about. Anyways, I'll look into this and see if I can get an exact match for who it might be. Keep hunting around? Anything interesting there?
All of them but Elias. big are the antlers on that deer anyway? Did you know that in the winter, deer, moose, and other mammals who grow antlers will just shake them clean off? Maybe they shot that deer in the spring when it was regrowing them. You think so? I feel like they're too inaccurate. If a gear stops turning or the battery dies out, then you have to manually set it again. Digital clocks hook up to the internet so they don't have that problem. I wouldn't doubt it since the Gallaghers had this place built just for them, but I wouldn't know where they are. They're secret for a reason. Tell me what you're looking at. I finally got a match on that painting from earlier. Check it out. That's Mama Gallagher herself. Mildred loved to host tea parties and dances at the manor. Always made a grand show of the family bling while she was at it. She was the envy of the land until that Gallagher curse killed her. Anyways, that's one mystery solved. Think there's anything else in here? <laughs> Roger that. What else is in there? Take a look around and tell me if there's anything interesting before you indulge in literature again.
No dice. Keep at it, bud. Your dream will come true one day. Can you stick to the mission, please? Which one? No, 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 we are not talking about clowns! I don't even like blueberries, and waffles are superior in every way. They can hold syrup, melted butter, or whatever you top them with, so you lose less to your plate. not putting food on my face, or my face into food. No, no, end of conversation, get back to the mission. Of all the things in this mansion, you're thinking of stealing the light bulbs? Eh, fair enough. Hey, want to know another fun fact? Thomas Edison didn't actually invent the light bulb. He bought the patent from two dudes named Henry Woodward and Matthew Eben. Edison was able to claim fame thanks to the fact that he had enough capital to finance improvements to the design. My point was that popular history gets written by the winners, but that works too. Let me know what you find. Right, Elias wanted to bake a cake for you. Would he even be able to eat it? Uh, can you say that again? I think my wife's coming out again.
Hey, can you hear me? Answer if you can hear me! Are you okay? Were you attacked? Static took over the line again, and I heard something garbled from your end. Some kind of whispering or chanting? Was that you? Hey, what did you see? I'm starting to think there are some other spirits in this mansion besides Elias. Why else would there be interference when he's not even in the room? Goodness, are you quite all right? Why do you look so pale? It's been like, what, 20 minutes tops? Forgive me for leaving you to your own devices for so long, dearest. I am here now, so there is no need to linger in the despair of solitude. Worry not, my love, for my years in the flesh prepared me for such an existence. I am not forgotten. Before you came to me, there would be the occasional visitor to my manor. None quite so welcome, mind you. Most were in a stupefied, intoxicated state. Good entertainment, but not the company I'd choose to spend the rest of my waking moments with. Unlike you, my love. Man, this guy is just... ugh! Yes, a splendid idea. Our wedding shall be oh so fine. The layer cake most of all, unforgettable. Nana's baking divine, and when paired with white wine, to not taste it would be quite regrettable. Oh, though I do miss her cream pies as well. Shame those aren't quite appropriate for a wedding. <laughs> oh my god! Did he just say cream pie? She wrote the recipe in a manner such that you could make it in any sort of flavor so long as you had the proper ingredients. Say, what flavor shall our cake be, my dear? I was quite partial to Earl Grey myself, but vanilla is always agreeable no matter the party. Though perhaps a delicate lemon with hints of lavender. Hmm. I must have misplaced grandmother's dessert recipes. I can't find them. Where did I leave them? I know I have seen it within the past decade, at least. Hey, here's our chance to look for more clues somewhere else. Ah. 
I am loath to ask my betrothed to make up for my mistakes, but yes, I would appreciate your help. Unfortunately not. I do know that it must be in the manor, however. None of my possessions have left the grounds. I will investigate the common room. Take care where you may search, and be cautious of the second floor. I have done my best to stabilize the structure, but... Uh, it does take quite some energy. Is he finally gone? Well, you never got to hunt around the study since Helias was hanging out in there, but I wonder if you can find his bedroom. We also have no idea what caused that vision you saw earlier. Be careful, all right? Though, how are you going to explain to Elias that you're basically staying put? Too hard to read? <laughs> I don't know. You seem to do a pretty good job of it. You okay there, bud? Maybe that was Elias' plan all along. Death by choking on dust. See anything new? Oh, no, no, no. You probably don't want to go into the kitchen even if you're able to find it. Oh, imagine the mildew and rot. Ugh. Well, if we're comparing each other to Ghostbusters characters, I am the brains of the operation. Egon just makes sense. I'm cute. Hey! I would have joined you, but backup is important. I'm prioritizing the evidence and trying to avoid Elias's suspicions.
I have no clue what you're talking about. I'm not writing about ghosts. It doesn't matter. And it's not fan fiction. Just get back to the mission. <sighs> it's okay, bud. How are you doing over there with all those visions and everything? Good. I'm glad. What's going on? Are you all right? I apologize. I should have come for you sooner. Are you all right? Are you okay? What happened? You suddenly shouted and... <sighs> I am relieved to hear that. Oh, thank God. If only for a brief moment, yes. I saw a red-headed gentleman smiling at you. Who is that, if I may ask? I would love to meet your friend. Anyways, my darling, I did come back to find you, as I have finally uncovered my grandmother's recipes. If you can tell me which one you'd like, I will make preparations while you freshen up. An excellent choice. You have the most wonderful taste, my dear. Please, let me handle the remainder. If you wish to rest, please, I encourage you to do so. Hey, bud. You sound really exhausted. You should find some place to sit down and rest.
Is it at least clean? So how are you feeling? You've been through a lot, and that's the understatement of the century. Maybe we should go over everything we've learned so far. Assume you have a little, so talk as fast as you can. I got to see some beautiful ghost flowers, I suppose. But Elias might not buy your story anymore. That may be a good thing. Easy. Marrying an actual, literal ghost has got to be hazardous to your health. Maybe you can keep it up for a while, but eventually your facade will slip. A and then what? The longer you wait, the bigger the heartbreak. He... he's been waiting so long. The best you'll get is a sad marriage where neither of you actually like each other, but if you bring it up, you just end up losing what you have. And at worst, he makes sure you can never leave. I don't want you to be stuck in that mansion, but even if we get nothing from it. Can you make it so she doesn't appear? Any rituals or anything? Uh, I'm really starting to not like that guy. When Elias touched you again? What concerns me more is that he mentioned seeing me. Was he reading your mind? It almost sounded like you two were exchanging memories. I don't like that he's capable of reading your memories, even if this time wasn't intentional. What happens if he finds out that you're faking all of this? Honestly, and I mean it this time, I want you to leave this place. There's something very wrong going on. Nothing we read said anything like this would happen. Please, we don't know what kind of tricks he has up his sleeve. I don't want you to fall for anything he might be up to.
blood? What? You didn't bring a portable charger? I'm coming in. I'm not leaving you alone in there with no contact. I'm responsible for that much. Stall for time. I'll see you soon. Over and out. My dear, can you come to the living room? Oh, my dear, you look paler than me! What on earth happened? You've been talking with someone else? I thought you expected me. A fair question. Well, I have faint memories of catching specters out of the corner of my eye. Unexplained disturbances and whatnot. But I have not conferred with any ghosts like the two of us have chatted. Certainly not in life. And did you just meet this friend today, or...? Marvelous. My dear, how wonderful it is that you finally found me. Though, would you have sought the hand of any other ghosts you may have met?
And as for your friend, how exactly has he served as a medium? So, to contact him again, you'd have to leave? Oh, is that so? I... Well, he's heard about the wedding, yes? Our wedding? Well, I suppose a wedding without guests isn't much of a wedding. Everything is just about in order for the ceremony anyway. And I hope your friend realizes how safe you are with me by now. He can wait outside for a little while we finish our preparations. Shall we go ahead and place the final touches on this affair? Now then, shall we? It is time to show you my precious family jewels. Do not fret, my dear. These stairs are safe as long as you stay by my side. Careful now. You mean, making it look like a ghost of its former glory. <laughs> Admittedly, yes. It's quite tiring. But if it makes you comfortable, then I shall keep doing it. It also brings back... many memories. I appreciate your kind words, my dear. Just a moment, my dear. Ah, here we are then.
Do not hesitate, dear. Choose whichever your heart desires. Are they not to your liking? If you prefer something else, surely I can... It's entirely safe. I have kept them in a secure location and check on them frequently. You have nothing to fear. Please, do keep them on for our ceremony. And beyond. Once we are wed, everything in my name will be yours. Shall we make our way outside? Everything is prepared for the ceremony. <laughs> Soon we shall be wed, my darling, and we'll have all of eternity together. Are you excited? My love, what's on your mind?
Are you ready, my love? I have worked tirelessly to prepare the old ballroom for a ceremony, and while we may not have any guests, I do hope that you will be pleased. Excellent. Then without further ado... Welcome all, family and friends. Thank you all for coming today to partake in this joyous occasion. Today we are gathered together to unite Elias Gallagher with his beloved. Long has he suffered, and now long shall he be overflowing with joy. Let the memories of betrayal of murder, of waiting, be washed away like leaves in a flood. Love has triumphed. Do you, Elias Gallagher, take this person to be your lawfully wedded spouse, to live together in matrimony, to love them, comfort them, honor and keep them? In sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, to have and to hold from this day forward, now and for all time? I do. Do you, my dear, take Elias Gallagher to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together in matrimony, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him? In sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, to have and to hold from this day forward, now and for all time? Stop! Uh, who? That's... that's right! This has to stop! You should have told Elias the truth ages ago! I should have told you the truth ages ago. My dear, is this the spirit medium you are talking to? Taylor, why do you interrupt our ceremony? Speak now or forever hold your peace! Oh, have I got some words for you, Gallagher. All of this? All of this is for nothing! This was a dumb attempt to find a ghost, and now I've put my best friend in extreme danger. They didn't actually believe anyone was here. 
In my heart, I didn't believe it either. I was desperate. But we did our homework and read that you were obsessed with romance. The idea of it, at least. They aren't actually in love with you and have never been engaged to anyone before this. We went shopping for fancy clothes to trick you into appearing. So stop all of this. We're too young for marriage. We're both just college students, for goodness sake. We have our whole lives ahead of us. Elias, you should be mad at me. I set them up to do all this, but I should have been the one here, not you. I think we should let OHSIC disband. We need to go home. It's over. My dear is right. They have been perfectly able to choose what they like. I provided plenty of opportunities and... Yeah, and they were playing you. Our goal was to prove you exist. Now we have, and I regret it. Besides, do you even realize what rushing into marriage does to people? What if it turns out that you two don't even like each other, or can't even stand being in the same room tomorrow? I don't know about you, Elias. There's only so many tabloids that we can salvage all the way back from like a hundred years ago. But have you ever had to watch your parents fight with each other behind closed doors? Rushed, unhappy marriages lead to divorce. Maybe your parents got along fine. Maybe they didn't. But if this was a regular wedding between you and Bud, you'd be waving a red flag for the whole state to see. Mom and Dad tried so hard to pretend things were okay when I was growing up. But I wasn't stupid. I saw the exhaustion on their faces. I heard what they said to each other. No one deserves that. I... Besides, after all this, I realized... I'm jealous! Oh, all this time... Me, I assume. There's a rival suitor vying for your affections. It's true. I think you're great, and I really, really like you. I've wanted to tell you that for some time. Since about the day we met, to be honest. But you were such a good friend. A kind friend who supported me in everything I did. But you were so... I... I was scared to lose that. I was scared to make everything too big. But I guess I found a different way to make everything too big tonight, huh? What a charming and sad story, Taylor. How could I not be moved? But, my dear... I need you to tell me the truth. What did you come here for? I see. But not all of this was a lie, was it? 
Your demeanor changed as we spent time together. You got to know me. You learned about the real me. And I think your heart opened. Oh no, come on, don't do this! I get that you're lonely, but you're completely missing the point here! Taylor, please. Where we go from here is up to them to decide. Okay, fine, that part is fair. This is nothing like the romances I've read in novels, nor the kind I've seen my parents or even siblings divulge in. It's clumsy, ridiculous even. Why, it's hardly romantic. And yet, those were the most genuine words I've heard from you this entire night. You hold those sentiments quite dear. So this is what true love is. Hang on. Does that mean you'll actually go out with me? Waste not, want not. I shall officiate your wedding then. Whoa there, easy now. Uh, are we really doing this? Uh, I'm not even ready. Do you take Taylor Potts to be your lawfully wedded husband? To live together in matrimony? To love him, comfort him, honor and keep him? In sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, to have and to hold from this day forward, as long as you both shall live? And do you, Taylor, take them to be your lawfully wedded spouse, to return their affections and so on and so forth? I, uh, shoot. I guess? Aren't we moving a little fast for- By the authority vested in me as the final heir to the Gallagher family, I now pronounce you married. You may now kiss. Splendid show! Now quickly, follow me to the study.
There we are. My will, freshly written. I think you two will be pleased. I, Elias Gallagher, former head of the Gallagher Estate, hereby leave all my material possessions, including the Gallagher family jewels, and the manor itself to the newlywed Potts. The Potts? Farewell, my dear friends. Please use my family's fortune for your honeymoon, or whatever else you may need it for. So, um, <clears throat> what do you want to do for our first date? It sucks that we lost the OHSIC. But who needs them? We can probably fund our own activities for a while. What? But the generic store brand just doesn't have the same flavor profile. The recipe is completely different, and the ratios of high fructose corn syrup and... Yeah, I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> 